Hi everybody, it's Dr. Rowe from thestarchlady.com and that's a subdivision of Health Natural Solutions on our YouTube channel. But I'm making a family favorite. Who doesn't love mac and cheese as a comfort food? And this one's particularly fun because it has a natural 12 grams of protein and you know your body doesn't burn protein. It can burn fat and it can burn sugar, but protein is is here naturally. So if you notice here it's pretty cool because the ingredients up at the top are organic red lentil flour and organic brown rice flour that's it nothing's added so the one gram of fat that you see there is naturally from those organic natural grains and for 190 calories per serving there's four per box it's an eight ounce box so there's four servings in here and that's actually a pretty good um, ratio it's a, it's a good serving all right all right, I want you to see here that the starch is um, pretty thick. You can hardly see the spoon after you put it down inside of there, and that's a pretty bright spoon. So you always want to use more water than what the package calls for. So this is about an 8-quart kettle, and I've put about 6 quarts into it, and then the pasta is only 8 ounces. So it's not a lot of pasta, but it, it swells up really well, and because the starch is so concentrated, you're going to want to have extra space for that to move around or it gets all kind of gummy when you're trying to make it. You'll want to rinse the uh, hot pasta with cold water to stop the cooking process, kind of like a burn. You want to put ice on it to make it stop burning. So you want to get it cold, and if you're going to store the pasta and not use it right away, you're going to want to actually even put it in submersion of uh, water with some ice. At that point, if you're going to store it overnight, you'd want to just slightly undercook it until it's not quite perfect, and then you'd want to put that in the fridge. Okay? So cool it off. Okay, I've gathered the ingredients for the cheese sauce. Let me show you that too, but I want to show you the cauliflower first. Now you can do this with potatoes, two potatoes and one carrot is what I normally do, but this time we're trying it with the cauliflower for even a, a lower starch content because I want the pasta to be half of the plate and I want the uh, low density uh, vegetables to be the other half. So I'm using cauliflower instead of potato this time. So I'm anxious to see how this turns out. But notice that I did the whole head here, and I'm going to kind of lift this up. This is in the rice cooker, actually, my little Black & Decker rice cooker. And I put just enough water on the bottom, and then I sat the whole head in there with the stem still in place because it kind of held it up out of the water and allowed the steam to come up and just cook that beautifully, absolutely beautifully. And so we're going to use that, and then we're going to combine it with... Uh, I like the crushed garlic that comes in the, the cubes. I get them in the frozen section at my grocery store. It's made by Dorit, Dorit Gardens. And so I'm just going to use two of those. You can use fresh garlic as well, maybe two cloves. I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of nutritional yeast. I often use uh, water-packed artichoke hearts to make my cheese sauce and also to make just a dressing by itself blended to toss over pasta but I didn't have any artichokes but I had this unique bottle of zucchini flowers they are absolutely adorable they taste great and we'll use that I also used the last of the roasted red peppers came out to be about a half a cup we're going to start with that so we'll start with these ingredients and blend it all together we're going to start with the liquid uh, ingredients first. We'll start with the half a cup of the roasted red bell peppers. And then we're going to use this entire jar of the zucchini flowers. Now, cost, uh, let's see, ingredients wise, let's spin this around here. Does it say? It just says zucchini flowers, ingredients. Zucchini flowers with ionized salt and citric acid. So it's a product of Mexico. It looks fascinating, though. I'm going to give it a try. Normally, I'd want to use organic, but this was just too fascinating to pass up. And uh, they have the most unique taste. They taste kind of like a cross between an artichoke and a um, asparagus. But they look like little stringy flowers. See that in there? Kind of little stringy flowers, like they've just been wilted inside of the sauce. Don't they look delicious down there? And speaking of products from Mexico, I don't want you to be afraid of Goya and other brands that come from Mexico. They are one of the only countries that does not 
allow Monsanto's down there. So they're going to be non-GMO whatever's growing down there. So that's exciting to know. I hope someday the United States will catch on to Mexico and a few of the other countries that have figured that part out. Let's go ahead and throw in the, the two clumps of the uh, nor garlic there. Kind of melt it off to the side a little bit there. I'm going to add the cauliflower. And notice I'm going to leave the stem and the leaves on. I think that's just added nutrition. I've already cut off the very, very bottom, as you can see. It's not black like it is when you get it at the store. So I just cut off the bad parts and toss those. But I like to use every bit of the food when I get it like this. In it goes. Last but not least, we're going to add our three quarters cup of the Nucci Nutritional Yeast. They do the commercials and talk about it, how it tastes more like cheese than some of the other nutritional yeasts. It doesn't have that bitter aftertaste, and they are absolutely correct. I really enjoy it. It's getting a little focused issue here. Using my Blendtec blender here, it has what I love to use. It's a soup and syrup fondue setting which means it goes for about 90 seconds and gets hot. So I've already, you know, kind of cooled off the pasta a little bit. So this sauce is going to be piping hot when I get it poured over top of the pasta. I may even have enough left over to put in a jar and use later this week. So I'm going to have to use a damper because there's no added liquid to it other than what was in the jar of the zucchini flowers. So I'm going to use the uh, spatula very carefully to kind of push that down. Uh, Blendtec, the, the saving grace of Blendtec, it's two and a half hours, excuse me, the Blendtec is 3.0 horsepower, whereas a Vitamix is two and a half, but Vitamix, I got to give them credit with all those extra buttons and whistles you got to play with, they have this super cool safe uh, damper to push the food down with, so that would be the difference in comparison there. Price is about the same, they've come down from over $700 you know, nine, ten years ago to down to about a 250 for either one. You can get them at uh, Best Buy or Amazon. And they're just literally, in case of fire, something you want to grab on the way out the door. So, oh, kids first, obviously. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like perfect. Look how thick that is. How tasty that is going to be. Can you see the steam coming up off of there? Oh my goodness. It's just amazing. So we're going to go ahead and pour that on our pasta. It's going to leave me some for a jar. Let's go ahead and give it a, a good toss. Oh, does that look good or does that look good? And yes, I've already tasted this sauce. There was no additions that needed. It was absolutely, it's perfect. And as it sits up in the fridge, I know when I do this with potatoes, it sets up because the amount of starch that's in the potatoes, it sets up so you can actually cut it. Let me show you one that I did just a few days ago. Here's some that I made earlier in the week, and as you can see over here on this side, it's thick enough just sitting in the container that you can actually slice it. So if you want to use it for like grilled cheese or something like that, I didn't have to add agar, agar, or any of the other thickeners to it. The starch from the potatoes, this was two potatoes with a um, jar of artichoke hearts and a little bit of the uh, red roasted red bell peppers few seasonings that was it okay I've served up about half of the pasta which would have been four ounces which means 190 twice so still under 400 calories for the meal the sauce with the cauliflower the roasted bell peppers and the uh, flowers the zucchini flowers if you'd used artichoke hearts it would have been just as good um, those calories are going to be absolutely negligible to make sure that I've got at least the 50% of the, the non-starchy vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and throw some extra sauce on top for fun. And then I've got like a whole nether 16 ounces still in the blender that I can add to a jar and use throughout the week. So I'm pretty excited. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, 
mm, 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 mm. Oh, my tasty word. That's a dot com, by the way. It's on my temporary starch page, the starch lady page right now, but I eventually you're going to have a separate uh, page that will have just my recipes on it. But enjoy. Getting healthy never tasted so good. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel, healthnaturalsolutions.com on, H on um, YouTube. And uh, Oh My Tasty Word, that'll get you to our webpage. And thestarchlady.com, that'll get you to our page on our website as well. All right. Have a good one.